Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this cool spinning retro globe for your next news report. Now, this should be a fairly quick tutorial. It's a pretty easy uh, technique to do. And I hope that you can pick up some awesome little tips and tricks along the way. I got some cool little ways that I kind of put this together. And I'm using just all the native plugins. There's no 3D here. And it's not even using the Ray Trace 3D. It's So if you don't have Ray Trace 3D or you don't like to use it, I'm not using any of that stuff. It's all with some native plugins. So let's get started. First, let's create a new composition. 1920 by 1080, let's just go for five seconds. Let's give it a name so it doesn't get confusing. Globe. And let's create a new solid. I'm just gonna hit Command or Control Y on the keyboard. Brings up a new solid. I want this solid to be white. Click OK. And I'm gonna add a gradient to it. I happen to have a free preset called Mikey's Vignette. Um, there'll be a link to that in the description. So I'm just going to drag and drop that on, and it creates this kind of vignette look. And something I want to do is instead of having a black vignette, let's go in here and give it kind of a color. All right, so that's a good background. Okay, now let's get started building the globe. And so I have here, it's a world map, and it's meant for curving around into a globe um, the way its 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 sizes are and I'll actually give you a link to where I downloaded it I just found it on Google so what I want to do though is I need to put this into its own composition so I'm going to take this here in the project and drag it and drop it right there and it creates its own composition and you can see it's right up here it's now highlighted I'm going to come up here in the project window hit enter to go into edit mode give it a name world map globe and let's go back to my globe and let's bring this composition right down into the timeline and when I bring it down here's just a little tip I'm gonna let me delete this just so I can show you if I take this world map and I drop it here who knows if that's centered but if I take this composition and drop it down here in the timeline, it's going to keep it perfectly centered. Just a little tip for you. Now, I want this to be transparent, all the white to be transparent, like I had in the example. So I'm going to double click this, go in here, and let's add a keying extract filter. And let's just take the white and bring it all the way over so there's no little fine edges. See, we can see if we do it over here, there's going to be little outlines, and I don't want little outlines, so we'll do that. Looks pretty good. Now let's go back into the globe, and let's add an effect, perspective, CC, sphere. And this turns us into a world. And I can come up here and make this radius bigger. Let's make that 360. And let's come in here, and let's kind of see what we can do go into the rotation and I can rotate this globe around now before I do more on this let's go in back into here and let's add a new solid make sure it's comp size let's bring it down below and let's add effect generate grid let's come in here where it says corner pin bring that to height and width sliders and let's bring this border down to two. And that's kind of what it looks like. Let's go back into the globe. And then now we've got this kind of grid thing going on. Now in the example, in the background, it was a different color in the foreground. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take this composition, duplicate it. Let's name that top one front and the bottom one back. And so what I'm going to do is let's take this and I want to connect some of the settings to this one. 
So I'm going to hit E on the keyboard and brings up my effect. I'll do that. I'm going to open these both up. Let's go to rotation. And I'm only going to really rotate on the Y rotation. So I'm going to option click on that stopwatch. So I held down option or alt on the keyboard, clicked on the stopwatch, and it brings up this expression controller. Now I can take the pick whip and connect it to the Y rotation on the top layer. And so what that's going to do is as I rotate this top layer, you can see that that it's going to keep them in sync. And why I want to do that is so I can take this top layer, change the rendering just to the outside, and this bottom layer to the inside. And now I can take this bottom layer and I'm going to add an effect, color correction, tint. Let's take the black levels and make them a little lighter. So now as we go in, let's fix this, and rotate, you can see that the front is a different color than when it's behind. Okay. So let's add a rotation to this. It's five seconds. I want the world to rotate one complete rotation. So let's have it start at zero, keyframe. Let's go to the end, go to one. And now we have one complete rotation. Now for the second part in the example where I had the world news spinning around, let me show you how to do that. So let's grab our text tool world news report and let's pre-compose this so command shift c or control shift c and let's give it a name world news report let's go into that composition and let's change the settings so it's really wide uh, let's go 3000 See what that looks like? Not quite wide enough. Let's go 5,000. And let's take this. I'm going to go to my align. Make sure it's aligned to composition. And let's get that centered. Now let's go into back into the globe. Now what we can do with this one is I can come here and let's go to effect, perspective, CC, cylinder. And it's going to create a cylinder right around this globe here. And then I can come into rotation and do a similar type thing. Now I can also, let's uh, maybe change the color of this font. Maybe have it nice, nice and blue. And I want to come in and make this width a lot wider. Let's go 10,000. And you'll see what happens as this goes wider. Then I scale this down. And let's rotate this around now. And it's a, still a little wide, so I want to go in and take the radius down. So it's just going around the world. So let's start this at zero. Click the stopwatch. At the end, I want to go negative two. So it's going to rotate around twice. And I want to do something similar with this that I did on the other one, where I have the front and the back, the inside and the outside. So I'm going to take this and duplicate it. I've already got the keyframes in here, so I don't need to link it together. I'm going to take this bottom one bring it down underneath the two world map globes and let's set it to inside this top one let's set let's set the render to outside now it's going to appear to be behind the globe i can even come in maybe take this Maybe make the lighting pop.
pop a little bit so it's a brighter color. And let's uh, render this out so we can see what we got going. Now here's the animation. Now since I had exact two rotations for the world news report and one rotation for the world itself, this thing is going to be loopable. So as it loops, it's going to be a seamless loop. Now I can add some more things to this. Um, say I want some more words on this news report. I can just come into this composition. I can take this, move it over here. Let's duplicate that. Maybe have it in here twice. Now in the example, I didn't have a second world uh, news report. So let me put it back to the way it was. What I did was I just created a line. So it's a shape layer. Make sure your layer is not selected. I grab the pen tool and then create a line. And it, I have a stroke on it. Let's go into the contents, into the stroke. And down here where it says dashes, I'm going to hit plus two times. So that if you hit it just once, it'll just say dash, but you hit plus again, it'll give it a gap. And let's zoom in there and let's make these dashes a lot bigger. And give a bit of a gap. And this is what I did in order to create the look. Let's come into the color, make it that same blue. And since shape layers and masks use the same tools, if I want to mask a shape layer, I select the shape layer and then right here, there's a star and then mask. So I can click on that and now I can mask my shape layers. And I'll just come into the mask and let's invert it. Let's go back to the globe and now I've got this nice little dotted line. Let me render this out real quick. So there's the final look and that's the tutorial. Um, like I said, this is a pretty easy technique, but may everybody may not know how to do this. Now the key things to remember here are to duplicate your globe and your you know your word spinning around either using the CC sphere or the CC cylinder. And you need to duplicate them one for your foreground, one for your background. So you can see here in my timeline I've got four layers, two of each item, the globe and the words. So if I were to stick anything in between these two layers right here, the globe front and the globe back, it would appear to be right in the center of the globe. So that's kind of how it works. Things that you want to be behind, you set the render to the inside. Things you want to be in front, you set the render to the outside, and then you layer them this way. So that's really the key thing in order to kind of set this up so you don't have any troubles. Other than that, it's just some simple effects. So I hope you learned a lot. Please, 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 if you have any questions, if you have any comments, just put them down in the comments below and I promise I'll get to them. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you share it with your friends because you never know who among your friends are a closet After Effects user. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.